crazy stuff. All right, anyway. In the bottom right side, we got ourselves a Alpha Exer. He is the Red Zerg. He is Ragnarok. In the top left side, we got ourselves a Blue Zerg fighting for the Kaisi Gamers. Will he be able to move on through? He is Solar. Fancy overlords. Let's see, let's judge uh, judge the skin competition right here. Oh, oh, I went with vanilla. A bold choice here for solar. And for the regular the regular overlords here. I mean, still still a fancy one overall. Did he get anything else? No, he's just pure vanilla here. Some mans don't like it when they uh, they get themselves some other stuff going on in the skin departments. Ragnarok here will be able to. Uh, you know, rock the uh, rock the somewhat still biological mixed in with technological uh, workers and all the structures here. I like the bit of purple here on the uh, on the drone class. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's see what they do. <laughs> the fashion competition in between the StarCraft Two competition. So solar here. Let's see, Pat, one hell of a series there versus uh, Innovation. One hell of a series versus Trap as well. I mean, I was kind of choking there, saying it wasn't really close at all. But, I mean, Solar versus uh, Solar versus Trap, it, it still felt very close, right? It felt like that could have gone both ways, in a, in a way. Trap, he was just a little bit too dominating. Managed to get some good starts. Mitigated all the damage. And... Yeah. Unfortunate, but uh, well, it was still well played there by Solar. Ragnarok, Ragnarok is games versus innovation. Well, we, we've seen that, right? It was uh, it was a weird one. Firstly, taking uh, taking the loss in the well, the almost macro game, right? In the mid game pushes just came a bit too much. Sometimes you see this with a Zerg where they're stuck on like 60, 70 kind of ish drones, and they're supposed to just get themselves ahead. Uh, with a good trade at that moment in time. And then start uh, laying down the fireworks. With the banelings, of course. Get a good trade and then start getting more workers afterwards. But sometimes the Zergs just don't quite manage to get those uh, battles going into their favor as much as they would like to. And in those situations, suddenly... You can have the Terran just continuously sending more and more units across the field. The Zerg just becomes strapped on the units. They need to continue the Zergling production, continue the Baneling production, and completely commit to it. Otherwise, they will just die due to the continuous push. And with some great micro, the Terrans, they just keep trading out favorably. And that will be, uh, that sometimes can be the end of things, right? Well, this could be a nice little push here into that uh, into that queen. The Zerglings from Ragnarok, they are quite plentiful as well. That's a ton of uh, Zerglings. No Baneling Nest available for either of these players. They are going into Roaches behind this. Upgrades for Ragnarok are going to be a little bit earlier on as well. Going to get the Carapace upgrades. Trying to just target down this third base right now. I mean, if he forces these links and queens off on this uh, location, that would be good. Maybe just keeping like four Zerglings on top of that hatchery will be enough. Uh, it's a difficult one. May not be able to get the, uh, the kill on this hatchery right here, but actually, hold that thought. He's doing all right right now. Getting a good surround on these uh, units. The queens went away as well. But nah, the roaches, they are a bit too powerful, especially when there's no upgrades on those links just quite yet. Solo being able to uh, to keep his base alive after getting a very, very well-timed attack on that uh, third base of Ragnarok. Cancelling it out and securing himself a bit of a lead here. Five workers, quicker third base, more mining going on overall. Ragnarok. Ragnarok's kind of taking the worst straight there as well, I suppose, in army? 
Well, actually, not not quite, right? He's still got the uh, the queen and the roach there, so he did take the better end of that trade, but just barely. Like, as barely as it can get. He's going to try to push across now with the roaches and the ravages. They do get scouted by the zirkling right here. Production tab. Mm, more Zerglings on the way for Solar. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be caught off guard here too much. Unless if the Biles for Ragnarok manage to land very, very nicely on top of these, uh, on top of the Roaches. That could still work out. I mean, those Ravages still a little bit stronger because of this stuff. In comparison. He has a good amount of Zerglings as well. They're going in too quickly though. But, oh, look at the Zergling numbers of Solar here. If they get, oh my god, Ragnarok Zerglings as well. The idea is that you get a full surround on the army units of your opponent and then you deny them to micro against the Biles. That's the entire idea here, but oh my dear lord, this is this is quite a scrappy game right now. All the army supplies going up rather simultaneously and going down simultaneously as well. Those Biles finally managing to get some hits going there and Ragnarok taps out. What a messy engagement. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Just circling absolutely everywhere. Trying to get those surrounds going so the Biles will be able to hit. But Solar managing to take the better trade there. Um, well, also, he did have the spawn advantage. And he had a uh, he had already initial lead, right? Going for himself because of that uh, third base denial. And then keeping his own third base alive. So, well played. Well played there by Solar. Grabbing himself the first victory here. ZVZ, <laughs> ZVZ in a nutshell. Especially the uh, the Korean ZVZs. Sometimes they get a bit messy here. Gets uh gets a bit like mus mud mud wrestlers that are also shooting with fireworks at one another at the same time. It's a weird mental image, isn't it? Hmm. All right. Anyway. Anyway, looking forward uh, the second game here on Light Shade. No time to waste. Immediately just jumping in. Light Shade is a slightly smaller map here as well. Uh, it's definitely the what they seem to be favoring here for uh, both these players, actually. Not just in the ZVC, but also in the other matchups, right? We saw them uh, picking a lot of Light Shade, picking a lot of the Oxide kind of maps. The smaller ones. Which is interesting. Not something uh, that you would expect necessarily from the Zergs. I guess in ZVZ it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah. Most Zerg units just spit at the enemy. That's true. Oh, wrong boy. Wrong number there. Alright, in the bottom right side we got ourselves a red Zerg player. Fighting for Alpha X. He is... Uh, Ragnarok. In the top left side, his opponent in the blue. He is, of course, fighting for Kaisi Gaming. Solar. Alright. Ah, gas first here for Ragnarok. He's going to ramp up this aggression here. Rather rapidly, it looks like. 16 gas, 16 pool. That's what we're getting out of him. Is he going to commit to the aggression? Is he going to get a bailing nest as well behind this? Could work out rather well. Let's see how Solar is going to try to defend this off. Sometimes, occasionally, you'll see like Zergs doing this as well. Just to kind of be safe against the, uh, the pool first. Right, just like straight up going into immediately a ton of um, a ton of zirklings. Right off the bat, but I don't know if Ragnarok will do something like that. He is a very aggressive player, after all. Overlords are about to check this out. Creep spread, not yet available, of course. 
I'm going to see it momentarily here. Circling's already moving across the field. That's not the weirdest thing, I suppose. Well, it is a bit early, isn't it? Uh, it is too early, actually. Okay, sees the hatchery as well. Bogus versus Solar already finished. Bogus being innovation. Bogovation. Why, oh, why, you know. Yeah, he, he had a pretty good match against Solar, I would say. Definitely tried his hardest, but just couldn't really make it work. That's the bailing nest for Ragnarok as well. Ten Zerglings in production right now. I guess in ZVZ you would like to play these smaller maps, right? Because your Overlord just gets that scouting info a lot earlier on. So you have a lot more time to prepare. At the same time, though, it means that the enemy attack is going to be uh, coming in a lot earlier as well. Hmm. It's still more favorable, it would seem to me, to have that earlier scout with the Overlord, though. All right, here are the Zerglings. Ready to do the poking. Already a pretty solid defense, though, for uh, setup for Solar here. Ragnarok wants to get on top of these Bailings that are morphing. Needs to be careful. Doesn't want to overcommit on them, of course. Ooh. <laughs> Scary stuff. Okay, gets one of the Bailings right there. Careful, boys. One misstep could be the end of the game here. The Dance of Death. Couple of queens for Ragnarok trying to take care of the Overlords as well in front of his base. Doesn't want a Solar uh, to really see what else is going on behind this. But that was a, that was a good hold there for Solar. Ragnarok has been droning up rather heavily though. So, I mean, even though he didn't manage to do any damage, it looks like Solar did try a bit harder to, well, hold this off than he necessarily needed to. And still a little bit of a work elite now because of this for Ragnarok. Do we have any other advantage here for either of these players? Doesn't look like we really do, yeah. So, some good stuff there for Ragnarok. Even, uh, even though his attack didn't do much of anything. Being able to come out ahead in, uh, in this match right now. Maybe just wanted to play League Law. I mean, sometimes I get the feeling, but Innovation really was going into the late games. So... It's not the case this time around, I'd say. Oh, I love this kind of stuff, dude. Just a couple of Banelings hidden in the shrubbery here. Waiting for, uh, for Zerglings to just run across the map there. These tiny things, the tiny things that can make or break a game here. Looks like Solar did see what was going on here, sending, uh, sending a Zirkling across trying to get that. It's going to immediately get the scout on his third base as well. There, how many drones are here? Not that many. Sees more drones coming out though. Sees more drones here as well, so can assume that there's a lot of droning going on right now. Oh, those bailing hits there from Ragnarok. Not too bad. He's going to get the queen as well. Ragnarok definitely finding some success here. Still ahead with a slight margin on the work accounts. Layer attack is just slightly ahead here though for Solar. Both these players making the transition into the Roach Warren with the plus one missile attacks. Alright. Will our Alpha X player be able to get himself in a tied up situation? Make this a playable game again. Yeah, it's the road speed for both these players also. Couple of banings. That's not a bad idea. You know what? Seven kills? That is a trade you should take every single day. Like Solar did manage to get a bit more uh, greedy on the work account though as well. 61 right now. Well, 60 I suppose after that spine crawler, but does mean that he's still tied up here a little bit. 
It's always rough though in these CVC games to really completely kind of figure out how many drones your opponent is on. How many drones can you make? How many, you know, what's the difference? And am I going to be able to get away with making more drones? Am, am I behind on drones? Always a rough one to, to really fully get a perfect grasp on. Because it is quite uh, quite an easier thing to just make a ton of uh, a ton of workers for the Zerg race, of course. And it doesn't have the easier balancing act of a matchup with the uh, the Protoss or the Terran, where you can be like, all right, well, I kind of know I have these windows of opportunities or how those races work. They can either continue their worker production at this steady pace, and I'll be able to. You know, kind of mitigate that. Try and figure out how much I can get away because of this. Uh, with this. How many bases they have and such. Hold up that thought, actually. A lot of roaches here coming in. It's a lot of army supply, Ragnarok. He is gunning for those Ravagers. He's right on top of them. And that's a GG. All right. Well, <laughs> guess, uh, I guess we got that answer. Too many drones for solar. <laughs> Uh, well played there by Ragnarok ties up the series, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, <laughs> sometimes it can be a little bit dicey, thinking like, all right, do I need more workers here? Can I get away with more workers if I make workers? How many do I make exactly? Because, you know, is he making workers? Is he not making workers? It's it's uh, It can feel a little bit like a gambling game. You need to continuously have Zerglings, Overlords, Overseers floating around to see what your opponent is making, right? What is coming out of those eggs? very important and that way you can kind of see or well maybe not see but figure out what is happening there solar and ragnarok going into game number three here on oxide another one of the smaller maps right now interesting very very interesting so what were all the three maps that we saw them play actually let me quickly take a gander uh death aura light shade and now oxide i suppose they didn't play submarine right so Sometimes I forget that that is still in the map pool as well. Submarine. It just doesn't get played a lot. But it's it's still there. It's still there for sure. People just preferring Oxide and uh, Lightshade. Alright. Moving on forwards. Good morning, Dragon Soul. Everyone seems to ban Submarine the first chance they get. Yeah, this is true. A lot of people just ban it straight up. Except for Terrence in like TVZ. Or maybe Protoss as well in uh, PVC. They do okay in it uh, with, with that type of thing. But yeah. A lot of Zergs like to ban it as well. There we are. In the bottom left side, a red Zerg player fighting for Alpha X. Managed to tie up the series here. Will he be able to get one more victory on the board? He is Ragnarok. His opponent in the blue. He is the Kaizi Gamer Man himself. Right now, looking to get one more point on the board. It would be such a shame after such an incredible series of innovation. To go down here right now in a ZVZ mud fest. He is Sola. Ragnarok or Ragnarok. <laughs> is that how I'm supposed to say it? Ragnarok. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I stepped out for a smoke. Thank you, thank you. Solar win. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, there we go. And Captain Stash, uh, watch this. Watch this hiney. Okay, that's, that's good too. That is, you know, something that needs to be done sometimes. Um, yeah. <laughs> huh. Ragnarok when he's sleepy. Ragnarok when he's angry. I always miss the last seconds of a match for the same reason as you. Uh, <laughs> you guys should stop smoking outside. Just get yourself uh, one of those um, 
You know, one of those servants that is willing to uh, inhale all the smoke that you exhale, and then they run outside and exhale outside, right? That's what you need to do. Just get, get yourself one of those slaves that is willing to kind of <laughs> help you out in that remark. Maybe like a big tube system where you can just blow into the tube. Isn't that normal in the UK? You gotta turn smoke inside until the walls turn yellow. Doesn't allow you to smoke inside. All right, all right. Secondhand smoking slave. <laughs> uh. I mean, maybe maybe that's a good reason why she could become your. Secondhand smoking slave. <laughs> oh, regardless of that. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? That's a lot of Zerglings in the production tab. Once again, a Bailing Nest here as well as the, uh, the Zergling speed coming in rather quickly for Ragnarok Solar. He has, I think, figured this out. He is getting ready for the inevitable attack that is coming in here. Not making any spine crawlers just quite yet. Just going for the queens and the wall off right now. Does have that double wall and is going to boot down another Evo chamber here as well. It's a difficult place to bust through. Two queens need to go through and one queen there does get taken out. The transfuse energy not quite available just yet. Ragnarok targeting mainly the queen right now. But only two Zerglings at a time are going to be available for this. Oh, he's getting closer and closer. The front is about to break. That's a cancel on that Evo chamber. And the Zerglings are in. GG is called. Ragnarok just like that. Slapping down some early aggression. And there you have it. Ragnarok will be able to be continuing onwards into that second group stage. Gets himself qualified. Stays in the tournament. That is a bit of a bummer there for Solar. But that is how it happens.